Talking with people with music in their genes, their blood, and in their soul. You are watching Musical Interlude. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Musical Interlude. I am your host, Casey Bell, and today we have our musical guest zooming in all the way from Berlin, Germany, Ukraine artist, singer, songwriter, Marina Masanova. She has just released this year, 2021, January 27th, her latest single called Norman, Normentality, which is a mixture of hip hop and punk, which is sounds weird, but it's an amazing sound that I know you'll enjoy. We took the time to talk and I got to know a little bit more about her. Let's take a look at our interview we had together. What when did you first get inspired to to do music? Um, just at first, I want to say that I uh, speak four languages, but English wow. is is none of that. <laughs> no, it, it is, it is, but uh, still, I'm not perfect, so I can um, forget some words or something like that. But I love challenges. I try, I try to speak English. Okay, today. no problem. <laughs> So uh, your question was uh, when, uh, how it started, yeah, yeah? Yeah, when did you first start creating music? Uh, to be true, I went to music school when I was a child, but uh, I was told, I was studying piano, and I was told that I wasn't that good, and uh, I actually, I didn't want to play piano, I wanted to sing, but uh, they told me like, mm, you have uh, just so small voice, but uh, after all, I understood that I was just a shy kid. So I were like <laughs> singing really, really <laughs> uh, not loud because I was shy girl, that's all. Uh, so I decided to quit it. And then I had a huge break with music. I've, uh, I finished university. I had a diploma in psychology. And that helped me to understand that uh, what I want is being a musician. So after that, uh, uh, when I was already working as a psychology, I decided that, no, stop. I, it's, I love, of course, psychology is uh, amazing, amazing. But uh, that's not what I really want. That's not the, my love, where my heart is. So I uh, just... Uh, stop everything and start my music project and it was hard when you're already like adult and kids can sing amazing and do stuff amazingly and you're like yeah but i'm starting <laughs> it was hard but yeah i think after university yeah <laughs> so what would you say was the thing that encouraged you to quit your your job that you had and go into the music business as scared as you might have been? Uh, it was, uh, it wasn't that, uh, uh, it was slowly decision. Like uh, I uh, found some people who liked what I do. I, I started to write songs, oh, especially I went uh, to, uh, with the student program uh, to New York and uh, I was so inspired by hip hop culture there. And uh, yeah, there were so many awesome uh, musicians uh, and I saw at them like, wow, they were just amazing. Uh, so I started to write my first songs there um, and somebody liked that. Somebody uh, said like, no, <laughs> but I just keep doing it. Uh, and after all, yeah. Um, I decided to to change completely into music. And what was um, the first steps you took to get into music? How did you know what to do to start creating an album? Uh -huh. um, creating an album, it was uh, after some time of trying because I started with the rock and punk and something like that, like I used to listen. Uh, and then I, I fell in love with hip hop and rap. Um, so I decided like to combine everything, but I had uh, lots of um, uh, small projects. I, I released some singles um, and every time I thought like, 
oh, that was okay, but not exactly what I want, not exactly what I want. So I was searching for it every time. And uh, after a while, I uh, figure out what I want. <laughs> so like combining all the uh, dance moves and hip hop and rap and punk attitude, everything all together. Uh, so, and I thought, yeah, this is the time to make an album. I have something to say and to show. Cool. So explain, um, dear, you just released a video. January 27th, your single. Talk about that song and what inspired it. Yeah, the song called Normality. And I even uh, sing it in with the Ukrainian accent, like Normality. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, you know, it's a lot of people ask, am I normal to feel something? Am I normal to feel sad when everybody is happy? Am I normal not to want sex or want it like every minute? Or am I normal to, I don't know, vomit on the dance floor or like a lot of things. And uh, uh, normality is something that society expects from us, but it's so narrow and uh, I don't fit and a lot of people don't fit in it. So I was thinking to create just my uh, own normality standards. So that was the idea of the song, um, to just create my own normality. And it doesn't mean that I do something bad things like my normality and I just do whatever, but just to be in myself and feel okay with that. Yeah, so that, that was uh, and shooting the beautiful ladies, uh, their booties. I like this. I think nothing wrong with it. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I would definitely um, say that you definitely decided to step away from normal because, which I personally believe normal is not something we're supposed to be um, because, you know, we all have our own fingerprints. So we're unique. So we're supposed to be different from one another and not try to be exactly the same. But I like the fact that because I've always been a, a fan of just music in general, not mm -hmm. any certain genres. So I like the fact that you combine punk and hip hop and you didn't say I have to do one or the other. You said, I like them both, so I'm going to do them both. Did you receive any discouragement from anyone telling you you shouldn't do that? Or were you, were you strong in believing that this is what I wanna do, so I'm gonna do it? Um. I didn't have uh, um, some discourage in, ah, actually, yes, I had from my beat maker. He was like, Marina, what are you doing? I don't understand, what is that? And I like, believe me, I just, I just like it so much. Can you, do I want to dance like tush, tush, tush. Uh, And he was like, oh my God. And then after a while, he was like, can I quit? I just, I cannot do this. I cannot. I don't know what you want from me. And I like, no, we will do it. We will finish it. No matter what, just believe me. <laughs> and he was, okay, okay, I will finish it. And after all, he was like, yeah, that sounds okay, actually. And he liked it. And now he is happy that we did it. Uh, yeah, but uh, of course, I have a lot of mean comments like, you know, I'm a daughter of a professor and uh, our, uh, like his colleagues and the daughters of his colleagues, they're not uh, happy to see me doing rap or music project and shooting ladies like, um, and to uh, jumping in the shorts, like, you know, and, uh, uh, but, I think uh, that's what I like. That's my normality. So, so uh, th that's just, I think for me, it's okay. Maybe they will understand one day. I I'm actually really okay with mean comments. Let, it, let them be, why not? That's their opinion, I have mine. So do you have any advice for anyone who wants to step into the music or entertainment business, but are hesitating because they're afraid of something? Any advice you have to give to them? Uh, just to do what you love. Yeah, it's just so simple. 
um, I'm totally in love with my music project. I just wake up and thinking, what, what, what else? What else I gonna do? And um, and then all those mini comments they just disappear. And usually, sometimes I even I'm happy that people have freedom on my platform and in my video they can write whatever they want. That's awesome. Uh, I don't want everybody like it, like uh, be identical. I um, just let people to be themselves and um, you still have somebody who will really like it, appreciate what you do. And uh, it's important to have somebody who are not like it. And actually to be true, I always put dislike on my video. <laughs> like mm -hmm. there should be somebody who dislike it, of course. Uh, it's important, like, uh, if nobody dislikes you, then it's not important, like, nobody sees it, it has to be both sides, uh, like, uh, all the time, so yeah, I, I really, I really like the uh, differences. And my last question that I have for you, is there anyone um, you admire in the business that you would like to collaborate with, whether write a song with or sing a song with, that you would like to produce a song with? Of course, it's Beyonce, but you know, <laughs> it's like, uh, mm, I wish just to have a cup of tea with her and say some words of appreciation of her huge work. Um, but there are, there are, of course, a lot of guys uh, who I admire. I love also Marilyn Manson. He's an amazing guy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from another side of my likings, you know. Uh, I'd like to say to him, like, thank you for my teenage years. I were, you were all of my walls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, also, I really like D-Mix rapper. He's just amazing. Yeah. I just sometimes look at his concert and like, oh my God, he's so soulful. He can... Ah, I, I wish to make a track with him as well. Yeah, so there are just a lot of guys who, who I admire. Mentality is staring at me. I'm celebrating normality on a champagne. I pray that I won't be safe and keep my base so bad. Forever and forever, I debate this guy. have today for musical interlude i want to thank our guest Mar marina masanova i want to thank her so much for taking the time to join me and for sharing her journey in the musical entertainment business and of course audience you know i always thank you for watching for taking the time to watch and supporting csb tv and musical interlude and our artists that grace my show that's it for today have yourself a wonderful day